for the first time on television. High school hit squads getting dangerously close. Sunday night at 7 on Channel 9. of the city of Summerfield. But we can't continue with the ceremonies until the water commissioner arrives, can we? <laughs> oh, I see the water here commissioner now. Hey, here we are. Right up there, commissioner. <laughs> Thank you. How do you How do, you do, do sir? <laughs> nice to see you. And this is Leroy. How do you do, Leroy? You well, Leroy? I'm on television. Yes. <laughs> commissioner. <laughs> It's a great pleasure to be here. It really is. <laughs> Your brother got on television, too. Oh, he would. Commissioner, we present you with this wrench to make the final turn on the cap of this fire hydrant. You bet. <laughs> a turn of this wrench symbolizes uh, the growth... Pardon me, pardon me. Oh, yes. <laughs> symbolizes the growth of the vast network of water mains, which will continue to spread onward and outward like the roots of a great tree. Commissioner, and come on. under my guidance, these... Commissioner, do you mind we're a little late, please? Oh, well, yes, of course. And, uh, take this off? Yes, sir, I'll be glad to. <clears throat> you know, uh, better get around on that side. On this side? Why? <laughs> better profile. <laughs> Will you stay out of this, please? <laughs> Once in every generation, an American hero emerges. In the history of motion pictures, that hero is John Wayne. Now you can own a personal library of John Wayne classics. Three complete feature films available for the first time in color, only through this exclusive television offer. Blaze the Frontier alongside Wayne in Rio Grande. Dogfight with the Duke in the thrilling Flying Tigers. Land with the toughest Marine in the classic Sands of Iwo Jima. Grenade! Hit the deck! This specially boxed collector's gift set, Wayne at War, is yours for just $59.95. Order now and receive an added bonus. John Wayne matinee double feature. Two rare Wayne Westerns. A $14.95 value absolutely free. Call now. 1-800-32-VIDEO. Three full-length films plus two rare Wayne features. A total value of $115 for only $59.95. Dial 1-800-32-VIDEO and bring the Duke into your home forever. I'm staying home. I've given it a lot of thought, and I've come to the conclusion that my dates are costing me too much money. Yes, sir. I'll pull the shade, and then I'll skedaddle. Uh-oh, that must be Mr. Bullen Sensor from Baltimore. Mr. Gildersleeve, have you ever seen Mr. Ellen Bullen Knickerbocker? The widow? No, Bertie, and I don't want to. I've seen Bullard. <laughs> Put a woman's hat on him, and I'll bet you've seen his sister. Better come take a look. No, I got the picture. Knobby knees, big feet, walks like a hippo. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hello, Mr. Peavy. Yes, just a moment. Unky, telephone, it's Mr. Peavy. Coming, my dear. 
he'll be right down. What's Leroy done now? Oh? Oh? Uncle, you'd better handle this. Hello, Peavy. What's the matter? Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. I, uh, I want to speak to you about little Leroy. Yes? <laughs> he wants to open up a charge account. Charge account? <laughs> His new girlfriend has persuaded him to make quite a few expenditures. What new girl? The widow Knickerbocker's daughter, Brenda. She's visiting right across the street from you. Uh, well, what's Leroy buy? Uh, well, uh, eight sodas and a bottle of cologne. Cologne? And bubble bath. Bubble bath? Bubble bath? Phoebe, I'll be right down. Mr. Peavy. Mm -hmm. Very well. Oh, I just love to come to the drugstore with you, Leroy. You do? I sure do. Oh, my goodness. I never thought little Leroy would lose his head over a girl. <laughs> Busiest day we've had at the fountain since the Boy Scout bus broke down in front of the store. Well, I'm going to put a stop to this. Leroy. Yes, I am. Linda and I are visiting my Uncle Rumson. And Leroy's been so nice to me. He's brought me cookies and sodas and candy and bubble bath and crap and... Uh, I, I think I should have a word with you, Uncle. Excuse us, Brenda. Yeah, I think I should have a little talk with you, too, my boy. Now, what do you mean, running up a bill? Gosh, Uncle, I just can't say no. Can I use your charge account? Charge account? Yeah, it's all right with me, Leroy. <laughs> I'll assume your obligation this one time, my boy. But let's terminate this high living. I'll try. <laughs> I think we'd better go, Leroy. Yeah, we'd better. Goodbye, Mr. Gildersleeve. Hey, goodbye, Brenda. I didn't know that Leroy had such a handsome uncle. Come on, Brenda. Gildy, now you know why Leroy lost his head. <laughs> she sure can turn it on. Well, I'm going to turn it off. Leroy's never been exposed to a woman's wiles before. Yeah, well, love is like the mumps. Oh? Mm, you only need one exposure. Nonsense. No woman could make me spend all my money just because she made eyes at me. Well, now, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> You're stuck for it. You might as well drink it. <laughs> oh, Leroy, you're so athletic. Yeah, want to feel my muscle? Oh, Leroy. Oh, it's nothing. Gee, I wish I had a picture of you. You do? I keep it in my wallet forever. Boy, I'll run home and get my camera. Bye. Bye.
junk. I didn't know the cement was there. Well, it isn't just that, my boy. You're living way beyond your means. I sure am. Cologne, <laughs> bubble bath, this candy. Now, tell me, my boy, how did this expensive friendship start? The day Brenda and her mother came to visit Mr. Bullard, yes. I was shown her how I could do cartwheels, and 50 cents rolled out of my pocket. Uh-huh. And the next thing I knew, I was buying her strawberry soda. Yeah, just as I thought. Now, my boy, this Brenda is a very nice little girl, but she was born with a silver spoon in her mouth. She doesn't realize that you can't afford these things. Now, why don't you take it easy? Gosh, Unc, I just can't help myself. She says such nice things to a guy. Oh, what did she say? Uh, you'd think it was silly. Now, my boy, your old uncle understands these things. What did she say? She says I look like... <laughs> Like who? Like... Come on, my boy, like who? Like Marlon Brando. <laughs> Leroy, you don't look a bit like Marlon Brando. Yeah, I know. He's taller. <laughs> Flattery is an old trick, my boy. You won't find your old uncle having his head turned just because some woman pays him a fancy compliment. <laughs> Leroy, I'm serious. Now promise me you'll stop buying Brando all these things. Okay. What do I do with this box of candy? Yeah, I'll take care of it. I'm going across the street and have a talk with Brenda's mother about this. I'm the one who can take care of this situation. Yes. Hello, Mr. Bullard. Now, look here, Gildersleeve. If you came over to argue that exorbitant country club water bill that I'm disputing, please see me at my office, but not at my home. Yeah, no, it's not about the water bill, Mr. Bullard. I came over to see your sister, Mrs. Knickerbocker. Why? Well, it's about Brenda and Leroy, and it's important. Very well. I'll tell you you're here. Oh, I would take your hat, but I presume you won't be staying long. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to be firm with Brenda's mother. Mrs. Knickerbocker, I'm Throckmorton P. Gillisley, and I don't like the way your Brenda is gouging with Leroy. She always flatters him, and he loses his head. Buying bubble bath and cologne and everything. Buy George's got to... You wish to see me? Yeah, you're Mrs. Knickknocker. Yeah, I mean, Mrs. Knocknicker. Brother's mother? Mrs. Knickerbocker. Yeah, yes. I'm Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve. How do you do? Uh... I came over to have a little chat with you about Brenda and Leroy. Oh, fine. Won't you come in and sit down? Thank you. Isn't it wonderful that the children get along so well together? <laughs> I consider Brenda very fortunate to have Leroy for a playmate. He's such a perfect little gentleman. Yes? Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> a friendship like this can be very valuable for Brenda. Yeah, well, it's expensive for Leroy, too. No, I mean, <laughs> valuable. It, it, what I mean is... Brenda flatters Leroy quite a bit. Oh. She says he looks like... <laughs> well, like who? Marlon Brando. Well, perhaps he does. To Brenda. Leroy? Very handsome boy. Apparently handsome men are characteristic to your family. How's that? You could easily be mistaken for a movie actor yourself, Mr. Gildersleeve. Well. You're tall. Well. Handsome. Well, I give people that impression. A cigarette. No, no thanks. You care for one of my... <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> Do you plan to be in town long, Mrs. Knickerbocker? Well, I really haven't decided. I hardly know anyone. Yeah? I'd like to show you around. Lovely drive up by the reservoir. Day or night. <laughs> well, perhaps I'll see you at the country club tomorrow night. Country club? They're having some sort of benefit. Oh, I'd uh, like someone to dance with beside my brother. <laughs> Say, why don't I go? 
Oh, fine. <laughs> that is, if you don't have another date. Well, we just met, but I'd love to go with you, Mr. Gildersleeve. Great. So I call for you around seven? I'll be ready. Good. Goodbye. Goodbye. You know, I almost forgot. A little present for you. For me? <laughs> Gumdrops. Gumdrops. You know, to get to Brenda from little Leroy. <laughs> You're a very sweet man. <laughs> Goodbye. Years now, I've been telling you about some Time Life books that show you how to make all kinds of home improvements. Now I'd like to show you how another Time Life series, Fix It Yourself, helped these people fix things right. Well, we're about to leave on vacation, ready to dry the final load. Then the dryer died. We never tackled a major appliance before, but it would have taken days to get a repairman. Fortunately, we had our Fix It Yourself books. The troubleshooting guide showed us it was probably a broken drive belt. The cutaway drawing located it for us. Showed us how to get to it. Replacing the belt was simple. And I just closed the panel and dried the load. The Fix It Yourself series from Time Life Books brings together all you need to know to fix just about anything. Whole job only took an hour. Saved us a lot of money, too. Call 1-800-942-9500 to examine major appliances free for 15 days. Keep it and pay $13.99 plus shipping and handling. Other books will follow one about every other month. Cancel any time. Call now and get this screwdriver set free with your purchase. Floyd. I'm right in the chair. One barber. No waiting. <laughs> Give me a shave and a haircut. Well, how about the works? The works? Yeah. Shampoo, massage, singe, eau de cologne uh, tonic. That's French, you know. No. I even looked up the telephone number of a part-time manicurist. What's the idea, Floyd? Well, I knew you'd be coming in. I uh, see by the paper over here that uh, you're going to be breaking bread with the country club set, huh? Yeah, I'm taking Mr. Bullard's sister, Ellen Knickerbocker. Lloyd. Oh, that's just an expression of respect, Commissioner. Say, um, how about letting me chauffeur you tonight, huh? What's that? Yeah, I got a brother in law who's got a used car, right? For ten bucks, I'll get the keys to a limousine. Yeah, Floyd, I can drive my own car. Oh, Commissioner. How are you going to feel when you rattle up to that front portico behind that long line of beautiful cars and you turn your keys over to a sneering attendant? Sneering attendant? <laughs> Hadn't thought of that. When you're taking a classy dame like Mrs. Knickerbocker to the country club, you got to go in style, Kamish. Oh, I don't know, Floyd. So look, slip me the ten bucks. Why... You'll be a lead pipe cinch. Yeah? Yeah. Confound it, Floyd. I'm trying to save money. It's just an idea. But if you'd rather be ostrich sized. <laughs> Uncle Mark, what are you doing with the egg money? 
I'll pay it back to the sugar bowl. And after all you told Leroy. You don't scold. I'm in a hurry. Do you have any money? Leroy borrowed from me yesterday. Why didn't you go to the bank? Because I didn't want to go to the bank twice in one day. <laughs> Club on everybody's money. Everybody will get paid, I said. Your piggy bank gets paid after my sugar bowl. Ah, oh, for corn's sake, son. You're living beyond your means. No, I'm not. I'm only doing this because it's good business. You're doing it because you're weak like I am. Not me. The country club is the water department's best customer. They use more water than anybody else in town. Oh, I'm late. Good go. Bye. 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 Oh, Auntie. Oh, thank you, my dear. Bye-bye. How about that? I'd buy a girl a few sodas and eat... Whoa! A limousine! Ain't that Mr. Muck from the barber? On my money! I think I've seen this car before. Well, the shabby one parked in front of my house is for work. <laughs> this is lovely. Mm, thank you. A nice horn, too. Munson, the horn. Well, that be all, Mr. Gildersleeve? <laughs> well, that's all I can think of at the moment. Oh, expensive car, too. Ten bucks a night. Lord. He beats me huge that much in gasoline. Oh. <laughs> You're a baritone. You well. I love baritones. You do? Mm -hmm. I dream of Ellen with the bright red hair, born like a vapor on the sky. I dream of Helen with the bright red hair, born like a zephyr on the bright summer. Watch it. <laughs>
I wouldn't have missed this for the world. And I'm glad you talked me into coming. <laughs> Enjoying yourself, Ellen? Oh, very much. It's a delightful evening. Yeah, fine dinner, too. Mm -hmm. By the way, who's paying for all this? Oh, I'm glad you asked me that. The dinner is $10 a plate. Now, if you'd care to give me 20 for you and Ellen. 20 dollars? Oh, thank you. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I have an announcement to make before the music starts. Uh, fellow members, ladies and gentlemen, gather round, please. Uh, fellow members and uh, paying guests, uh, we hope you are all enjoying the dance. Oh, yes. As you know, of course, this is a benefit. And as we're still a little short of our goal, we're going to ask for contributions. Now, would anyone present uh, care to start the ball rolling? Me? <laughs> would you accept 50? 50? Gildersleeve contributes $50. $50? If you enjoyed the discoveries of Voyager 2, join us for an even more fabulous journey to the edges of our universe. Here's your guide. A new library from Time Life Books, Voyage Through the Universe. We'll take you to another galaxy to see a pulsar, a celestial lighthouse. We'll show you a new planet being born and take you inside a mysterious black hole where time and space take on a whole new meaning. Voyage Through the Universe will bring you all the wonders of the space age with spectacular illustrations and exciting writing. You've never seen the universe this way before because there's never been a set of books like these. Examine Stars, your first volume free, and begin your voyage now. Call 1-800-367-1600 to examine Stars, free for 10 days. Keep it and pay $14.99 plus shipping and handling. Other books follow one about every other month. Keep only those you want. Cancel any time. Call 1-800-367-1600 now. Every year, thousands of babies die from choking, suffocating, or other breathing emergencies. Just imagine how many of them could be saved if only they came with instructions. Please learn American Red Cross Infant and Child CPR. American Red Cross. We help you help others. <laughs> 